Wow, this interesting question is from Mass Olympiad, and I must say a tough one. Here, given to us is a quadrant and two semicircle. The center of quadrant and the vertex of the semicircle is joined, and this perpendicular is drawn from the another vertex to this line. This red line segment is given as two centimeter. Exciting part is with this limited data, we have to find radius of this quadrant. Okay, let's check the solution. Let's assume the radius of quadrant is r centimeter. Radius of this blue semicircle is a centimeter, or dia is 2a. For purple semicircle, the diameter is 2b. So first step, we have to find relation between r, a, and b. So here, let's consider this right angle triangle OFB. Here, FO length that will be a centimeter. Applying Pythagoras theorem, we'll get r square is a square plus 2a square. Or r square is 5a square. R is root 5 times of a. So this r is root 5 times of a. Let's join OC here. That's also radius, so root 5a. And let's consider this right angle triangle OEC. Now here this EF length, that's the radius of purple semicircle or B centimeter. Applying Pythagoras theorem, we'll get root 5A square is A plus B whole square plus 2B square. Root 5A square, that's 5A square. A plus B whole square, that's A square plus B square plus 2AB plus 4B square. Now let's take everything in LHS and simplify it. So we'll get equation in this form. Now let's treat this as a quadratic with variable b. So we have got this, uh, this we are treating as quadratic with variable b. A we are treating it as constant here. So applying quadratic formula to find roots, that is your x is minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac upon 2a, where a, b, c are the coefficients of x square x and constant terms so applying this formula we'll get value of b as a times of root 21 minus 1 upon 5. so for our next step let's uh, save this box value r equals to root 5a value of b here and this quadratic also let's save these three things Okay, for our next step, let's consider this right angle triangle OMC. So we have got this perpendicular length 2 cm. And uh, this OC is what is radius we have to find. So if we can get somehow this value of this angle theta here, then we can apply sine theta is perpendicular upon hypotenuse to get the radius. Now to get this value of theta, let's join CB here. And let's consider triangle OBC. Now in this triangle OBC, we have got OC as root 5A. We have got OB as root 5A. So if we can get the value of CB, then by using cosine law, we can get this value of theta here. Now to get the value of CB, let's drop a perpendicular from C on FB. Now in this triangle CGB, if we can get value of CG and GB, we can get this hypotenuse CB or X. Now CG length, that same as the radius of this purple semicircle or B centimeter. GB length, now if you'll see full length FB, that is 2A, FG, that is 2B. So GB length, that will be 2A minus 2B. So in this triangle, applying Pythagoras theorem, that's triangle CGB, applying Pythagoras theorem, we'll get X square is B square plus 2A minus 2B whole square. Simplifying it, we'll get 5B square plus 4A square minus 8AB is what is X square. Now here we'll use our data from the previous slide that is 5b square is nothing but 4a square minus 2ab 
So here this 5b square will replace with 4a square, 4a square minus 2ab. So simplifying it will get value of x square as 8a square minus 10ab. Now that we have got value of x square, so in this triangle OBC, that's applying cosine law. That is cosine law says that c square is a sorry a square is b square plus c square minus 2bc cos theta, where abc are the side length and theta is angle between side b, b and c. So here this a is the side length bc. So we get x square is root 5a square that is this oc length plus root 5a square that is ob length minus 2 times of root 5a times root 5a cos theta. Theta is angle between these two side lengths. So simplifying it for that let's put value of x square as 8a square minus 10ab and root 5a square that is 5a root 5a square again 5a total 10a square. So 10a square minus this again is 10a square cos theta. Now simplifying it, let's take everything in LHS. <coughs> now here if we'll see, a is common, so let's cancel a here. So a square will turn into a only. This is a will be left and this is only a will be left. Also let's divide the full equation with 5. So we'll get this, sorry, full equation by 2. So we'll get this as 5. This 2 will get cancelled and this will be 5. So we'll get this in simplified form as 5a cos theta. This is 5a cos theta plus a plus a. And here this b, this b value we are putting from here. So this b we are replacing with a root 21 minus 1 upon 5. Again simplifying it, a is common in all the terms. So a will get cancelled down and simplifying it will get value of cos theta here as root 21 by 5. Using identity sin square plus cos square is 1. We get value of sin theta as 2 upon 5. Now sin theta is also perpendicular upon base. So here in this triangle OMC putting sin theta as perpendicular upon hypotenuse that is 2 upon 5. Perpendicular length that is 2. Hypotenuse, hypotenuse is radius of this quadrant. So we get 2 upon 5, 2 upon r is 2 upon 5. Solving it, we'll get r as 5 centimeter and that's what we had to find and that's our answer. I hope you enjoyed the solution. I will see you in next video. Till then, tata, bye bye.